去外呀，哦，那么去外呀，哦，那么去外呀，哦，那么去外呀。Namaste. So this is a very interesting chapter, chapter thirteen of the Sati Khanda of the Rudra Sanghita of Shiva Purana. Because what's going on here, if you read between the lines and think about it, is the invention of sexual reproduction. In the early days of the universe, Brahma was producing sons by his mental power alone. You can read about this in several Puranas, like Bhagavat Purana and Vishnu Purana. So, Brahma was competent to create sons, and he created many sons and daughters too, simply out of his mind. However, his son Daksha, when he tried the same thing, they became asexual, or they were unable to reproduce further. Because in those days, it was all about populating the universe. There were no inhabitants of all the worlds, so they had to be generated somehow. So Brahma's immediate sons were mental creations, but then those sons had to reproduce further by means of sexuality. Now consider what a great breakthrough this is. If you know how the、uh, organisms in the material world reproduce, it's extremely intelligent. The whole DNA function is just amazing, and of course, this could not have evolved by chance. You know, the scientists are such idiots because they are simply against God, and they'll accept any stupid idea if it justifies their atheism. So, in the case of DNA, for example, they say DNA reproduction evolved by chance. This is nonsense, because we see, in reality, any sophisticated mechanism is designed by intelligence, isn't it? Like this smartphone or computer that you're watching this video on. It didn't just evolve by chance. Duh! What a stupid idea, and people accept this simply because it's told by authorities, huh? But these people aren't really authorities because they don't really know anything. They are just using or misusing their power to convince people of absurd notions that lead them away from God. Why do they do that? Because they want to be God, they want to take over the power over human beings that God should have. So of course they get their karmic results, and so do the stupid people who accept them. Because the loss of faith in God leads to a loss of meaning in existence and human life. And that leads to despair and alienation, a loss of purpose in life, depression, anxiety, anomie, which means、uh, alienation from oneself. One does not understand why am I here? What am I doing here? What's my purpose? Why was I created? But without the concept of God, a benevolent God, creating the beings in the universe to pursue self-realization or enlightenment, without that idea, really, 
life makes no sense. The creation seems arbitrary, and it would be if it was simply due to chance. But that's out of the question. It's impossible because the design of the universe is clearly the product of an intelligent being. So here we see, if we think about this story a little bit, that Daksha was the first or among the first to actually engage in sexual reproduction. And since then, we see all the beings in the universe now fully populated, in fact, overpopulated, <laughs> are reproducing like mad uh, by sexual reproduction. And so the world has become overcrowded, leading to all kinds of conflicts and exploitation and so on. But that's another story. The point is, in this chapter, during the very beginning days of the universe, the invention of sexual reproduction occurred. And it doesn't say exactly how it was developed, but Brahma's instruction to Daksha is to go, if your creations, your mental creations aren't reproducing further, then take a wife and reproduce sexually. So, of course, Daksha's like, oh, yes, sir. <laughs> What a, how do you get a job like that, right? Actually, it's not a very good job because it leads to identification with material existence and the confusion over what is the real self. Brahma and Daksha both reveal a regrettable tendency to identify with the body and think that material relationships are more important than spiritual ones. And because of their long-running grudge against Rudra, we'll see in the forthcoming chapters how they are destroyed. So stay tuned. <laughs> We're going to be making more of these spiritual insights videos because really the details of these chapters are important to bring out. Aung Tatsa Aung Shakti Aung Aung Namah Shivaya